Hello developers, welcome to Ivan Mesa, your favorite channel to learn how to become a web developer from a beginner to becoming a pro. So today I'll be giving you another tutorial on how to animate your project using Next.js. Yes, this is a step-by-step -step guide where I'll be simplifying everything process. So so Framer Motion is a strong and user-friendly animation library for React apps and Next.js. It offers simple API that makes it easier to create interactive experiences in animation. So today I'll be showing you how to integrate Framer Motion with the Next.js into your into your application. So this is a simple step 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 by step. So I'll be giving you the step by step. Now the first step that you are going to do, set up Next.js using the command next npx create next app. So I'll name my application app. So after, so you just have to wait and choose the option enter yes to all installations. Make sure that you've installed everything. After I are done, use let's type in cd app to to make sure that you are in the right directory. And you can always see you use the command ls to make sure that this is the right directory. After signing after after entering into the right directory, the next step that you are going to do our browser on local host 3000 inside your browser when it is opened you ought to see next.js beginning a page by default to integrate frame motion we now need to make sure that we have installed frame motion using npm install frame motion now that Framework Motion is, is installed successfully. What you are going to do, go inside your pages, inside the index, in, index index.js file. So this is where you are going to make, so this is where you are going to insert our boilerplate code. So this is boilerplate code that I have. I've got a header, a div that wraps up everything. Inside the div, I've got a head section and the main section. Inside the head section on the top, I will add a title with Ivy Mesa plus subscribe. Then below, inside the main i'm going to have h h2 text which i'm going to say subscribe to my channel so this is the text that will go inside the inside the text h2 so what i'm going to do now i'm going to show you how to add mo motion inside your code i'm going to have to type motion dot just before the h1 text just put a full stop then also a closing on, on the closing h1 text just put a closing close motion to make sure that your motion is closed so now 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 we can add up your initial animate and transition properties so this is this, this will now represent the initial state in this case in the initial state i shall have a opacity of zero and along the y axis i'm going to move upwards by using minus 50 then on animate this is one this is these are the changes that will happen when you're animating i'm going to make it more visible by adding i'm going to, to make sure that it fades out by using opacity one, then on the y-axis, I'm going to re re restore it to the initial position using the y-axis zero. So how long the animation duration will come, that will come on the transition property where I'm going to set the transition to one to one second. So I'm, after I make sure that you have saved all the changes and you, and you can now see that the animation is, is now fading up, in and out. So this was a simple tutorial that I did for you on how to use to introducing you to frame motion inside your next year. So please subscribe and watch in the next coming videos.